Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I want to go over the best free the 50 player for you guys to go ahead and pick. Now for those of you guys that don't know this upcoming Friday is actually the final 50 release. So when that does come out in case you guys haven't actually gone through and already done it, which I will admit I am quite a bit behind here on the solos. If you have got done every single the 50 solo and then you complete the ones that come out this week, we actually get a pack that contains an NAT stacked player from weeks 8 through 15. So starting from weeks 8, which you guys can see, you know, Brian Finner and Champ Bailey, Ed Reed, those guys all the way through and including whatever players come out this week, which I'm going to go over who I think we're going to get here in this video as well. There's a fantasy pack where you can choose any single player that you guys want. Now, some people are going to ask, why am I doing this video now and not on Friday when the rest of the players come out? Well, I'm doing this video now so you guys can be kind of prepared on who you want to take. And if there's any players that come out this upcoming week and you want to take them, you can. But I'm going to go over who I think we're going to get. But I do want to give a shout out to Jay Main for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, to the notification bell on, and comment down below Nodi Gang. Also, if you guys are in for a $20 gift card giveaway that I will draw the winner of tonight, all you guys got to do, drop a like in the vid, make sure you sub the channel, and comment down below Jacket. Leave a way to contact you. Simple as that. But as for the 50 players coming out this week, who do I think we're going to get? I believe that we will probably see Barry Sanders as Barry was actually on a little loading screen uh, for the 50 before it actually even came out. So I think that we are going to see Barry in here. Also, because we actually haven't had a center, I think we're going to see Dermani Dawson. I believe that may be the only position for the 50 that we actually don't have. And then the final player that I think we're going to see with the 50 is probably going to be Lawrence Taylor. So I think we're going to see Barry Sanders, Dermani Dawson, and LT. So if you want to go with any of th those three guys, you definitely can. Uh, I mean, it, it comes down to their stats, really. But I mean, Barry having the Team Diamond card, uh, he, once you power him up, he should be able because he's going to get a power up as well. He should be able to go ahead and get any team, like any uh, any team chemistry on him. So really, like Barry could be an end game running back. If you want to go with him, you definitely can. And LT obviously is another great option because it's Lawrence Taylor. You pick him up, you probably won't need another run at the linebacker. But I'm going to be basing this off of the players that we currently have. I'm going to go over the top five options, in my opinion, on who you could potentially pick. And with that being said, let's get into it. One thing I do want to mention as well, guys, you can easily just go ahead and pick the most expensive player if you want to. Whoever's the most expensive, get them for free, and then boom, you have them. Uh, or you can go with whoever the most expensive the fit to player is on your team. But just in general, I'm going to rank my top five players you guys potentially pick. And at number five is actually going to be Larry Allen. Now, this one may be like, why an offensive lineman? Well, normally I tell you guys not to take like, oh, lineman when it comes to NAT stuff. I like to go with like depth position type players type stuff. But at this point, all these players on this list are end game cards. Okay. Like if you power them up, you have a sprinter on them, whatever, you really don't need to upgrade again. Uh, especially since a lot of them get to like 99 for very, very good stats. Larry Allen is an end game right guard here with his stats that he has 95 strength, 91 pass block, and you also get 95 run block. You come down here to the impact block and the lead block he's got a 91 lead block on uh, the impact block as well as a 95 this is definitely an end game right guard now it's not the craziest pick not the most expensive pick probably one that a lot of people won't go with but if you want an end game right guard and he's 300k you can pick him up now coming into my number four slot i am going to throw michael vick in here now i know some people also might mention like aaron Rodgers. well Rodgers is like 200k and vick is 500 000 coins so a huge price difference there if you want Rodgers, you can just go ahead and buy him uh because Rodgers does have like the fastest throwing motion in the entire game with his throwing animation it's pretty crazy but mike vick also now gets gunslinger now it was 3 ap they actually increased that now so gunslinger on mike vick is 4 ap uh i believe he does have to be powered to go and get it though so 4 ap for michael vick and now the ap on offense is actually 12 so it went up by one overall but then the ap went up by two so 
it kind of like counter outs there uh, and of course Mike Vick for someone that may like to scramble a lot this is an end game quarterback for you guys now for me personally i like to go with a field general quarterback i like rich gannon more than michael vick just because uh, i like to have power master saves me a lot of ap on offense i don't need a tight end apprentice i don't need a running back um backfield master i don't need to have slot apprentice out there so it saves me a lot of ap but maybe if you don't run stuff like that if you're a guy that runs like a lot of read options and everything Mike Vick is an end game quarterback, 95 speed, 97 throw power. He's got 91 short, 87 medium, and 93 deep. So the throwing accuracy thresholds are 80, 85, and 90. So although it looks, you know, not that pretty with that 87 medium, it's over the threshold. He's really not going to miss many throws at all for you. Also, he's got 90 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run, uh, 96 excel, 93 juke. If you're a guy that likes to run those read options, I really, really feel like Mike Vick could potentially be your pick because this is definitely an end game card and it is crazy just how good these cards are and we're only in december i really feel like we may see over 99 overall stats this year i, I just feel like it has to like we have to get those with how good these cards actually are now in number three for me is sean taylor now sean taylor is number three for me for a lot of different reasons now i believe this video is probably going up after I already posted a video about the glitch to building the game, which with Sean Taylor being a zone archetype, just makes him even a better pick. Definitely go check that video if you haven't seen it. That was insane. The glitch to building right now in the game. Uh, it is just it is just crazy. Go check that video out. But Sean Taylor here is a stud. He's got 93 speed, he's got 93 Excel. So powered up, you're at 94 speed, 94 Excel. And then of course with Sprinter, you're at 96. Now, yes, there will be some faster safeties out later on in the year, uh, but also powered up, he's up to 94 zone, lockdown max out boom you're at 99 zone coverage and he's got 95 hit power he's a 6-2 safety with 92 change of direction now here is my thinking we go with sean taylor although yes you can go with another player that's a depth position at the same time sean taylor is a beastly free safety you can use him the rest of the game although he doesn't get to 90 man coverage which will be some better safeties come out in terms of speed and man coverage at the worst case scenario backup safety or middle linebacker everyone runs safeties at middle linebackers you could definitely throw sean taylor down there at middle linebacker if there eventually does become or uh, it comes out like a, a way better free safety whatever you can throw him down there i feel like you could always use sean taylor on your team i have sean t on my team i don't plan to get rid of him and of course you have to also think about this as well there's probably going to be another upgrade coming later in the year for Sean Taylor. Probably like a 99 overall Ultimate Legend much, much later. So get him, power him up, boom. And then he gets another upgrade. You can have a crazy, crazy endgame card. But this card right here definitely is still endgame. Now in number two for me, we have got Randy Moss. Now I will say Randy Moss would probably be number one if he was a route runner, which obviously he's not going to be. It's Randy Moss. He's a deep threat wide receiver, but he's number two for me. Uh, of course, going with a wide receiver like Randy Moss, he is a depth position player. So wide receiver one, wide receiver two, wide receiver three. If you somehow, which you never would, ever have to put him at wide receiver four for some reason he is gonna be an absolute beast coming off the bench which i don't see how you could get this card and not have him on the field the entire rest of the year i mean he's got 95 speed and 95 excel so powered up with sprinter 98 speed 98 excel and he's over all the route runnings powered up or with play fake he's over 90 short he's at 89 minutes of power if you'd be at 90 there and he's at 95 deep routing with 93 catch of traffic and 96 spec catch the only thing that rainy moss could get better at will be after the catch but you guys can see he started got 94 change of direction. Now his juke move and spin, you know, whatever, 86, 81. Uh, so his change of direction is really good. His catchings are good. His routes are all over 90, over the threshold. And he's fast and he's 6'4". And it's Randy Moss. And as I said, if he was a route runner and, you know, he got route technician for a little bit cheaper, I would probably have him at number one. But Moss, you can't go wrong with him, man. But at number one for me is Deion Sanders. Now, also, Deion is actually currently the most expensive one. He's over 600K. Randy Moss, about 430K. And for good reason, because this Deion card is endgame. Like, 100%. This is the most endgame card. Basically, every, as I said, every card in this list is endgame. But Deion Sanders, like, this is cornerback one rest of the year. Boom, locked down. As you guys can see, he's got 96 speed, 96 excel. So you power up with Sprinter, you're at 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Boom. And then you put lockdown on him. He's at 99 man, 99 zone. So you have a 99 man, 99 zone with 99 speed and 99 acceleration. Deion Sanders on your team. 
Yeah, uh, this is my number one option for sure. Also, he's got 96 agility, only an 85 press, but it's Deion Sanders. He can also be your kick returner with that 96 change of direction, 80 carrying on him, so hopefully you won't fumble on kick returns, and then 92 juke move, so once he gets that pick, he can definitely house call it. For me, Deion is my number one player. Randy Moss, though, is a close second. You really can't go wrong with either of them, but if you want to go with the more expensive option, if you plan on getting both of them, I just go with Deion Sanders. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. As I said, there are going to be some more players coming out this Friday, but I wanted to get this video out in advance, just like I did with the NAT weeks one through seven. So with that being said, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on it. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.